What's going on everybody? Um, this is going to be a fairly short video to kind of walk you through how to play around with registry keys within the Windows API using Rust. Um, so first off, why do you want to mess with registry keys? The registry in Windows is basically a way of holding a ton of system information. This can be anything from the way that your mouse moves to, as we're about to see, your username. Um, so for malware analysts or malware developers, the registry can be an incredibly useful resource to kind of see what malware is doing or to make your malware do things and gather information specifically. Um, so you will want to manipulate the registry itself in order to kind of do things with the system, either establish persistence by writing to um, certain registry keys to make your malware run at startup or to just gather system information or user information as well. Um, so we're going to be using a fairly straightforward um, script, um, basically, not script, program, um, to basically pull the username out of the registry. So let's switch over to screen. And I'm going to show you um, basically what the registry looks like. Um, so right here, if we kind of you know flatten everything, you've got the HKCU or, or the H key classes root, hkcu, hkey local machine, hkey users, hkey current config. Um, so those are your root keys and basically everything runs based off of the root keys. What we're going to be interested in right off the bat is the hkcu volatile environment and right within here we can find our username. Um, so this is a fairly important piece of information for your malware to gather or for you to look for other malware accessing. Um, and we're going to walk through basically how to access this item within the Windows API using registry key API um, endpoints. Um, so again, this is very, very basic stuff, but it's going to kind of show you how, it's going to kind of show you how the registry works and how to access it. Um, so like I said, you can think of the registry as basically a database and everything is kind of based off of these root keys right here. So your root, your user, HK local machine, your users, and your current config. Um, like I said, we are going to be looking within the HK current user, which actually holds a lot of very useful information. Um, but specifically, like I said, we're going to be looking within the HK current user, sub key volatile environment, value, username. Um, so that's kind of how you access everything. You pick a root key, you pick a sub key, and then you pick a value within that sub key that you're interested in. And these all can be nested as well. So you've got the H key current user, you've got the sub key volatile environment, and then you've got the sub key one, whatever that does. Um, so when you look within volatile environment, we are targeting the username value of volatile environment. Okay, so we've got this grab username function here and our main is just going to print out that username. Um, I'll go ahead and run it. As you can see, my username is mjw. Um, so within this grab username um, function, we are defining our H key, which is a handle to a registry key, um, and we're defining it initially, or we're initializing it as zero. Um, so this is all going to be wrapped within the unsafe keyword within Rust, which is basically saying we are doing things the C way. We are writing directly to addresses and things like that, which Rust doesn't like, but which is how the Windows API basically does everything. It sucks. I've gone on multiple rants on stream about this, but that's just kind of how it does everything. Okay, so we are going to create a new C string. That C string is going to hold volatile environment, which as you can see is our first sub key of the H key current user. Um, and if we skip ahead real quick, this first API call is to reg open key XA. Um, if we look up here, this isn't useful. This right here is what we're kind of looking at. Um, so this is the non extended version of the reg open key A. Um, I didn't actually copy over reg open key XA. Um, but it's essentially the same thing. So we're going to create a C string for our volatile environment key, and then we are going to create a C string representing the username value of that. Um, then we're going to create pointers to both of those two things because Windows does everything through pointers. And here is our most, you know, our, our first interesting point. So we're going to store the result of this call right here into open key res but open key res in itself isn't actually useful because again, the Windows API does everything through pointers and writing directly to memory and shit like that. It's 
mind-boggling the way that this you know API works, but that's just kind of how it does it. The first thing that you're going to do in um, Reg Open Key XA is pass in your root key, which in our case is H key current user. Um, you've got a couple of different root keys that I listed at the beginning: root, current user, um, local machine users, current config. All of those hold different information. Then we're going to pass the VN pointer, which is just the volatile environment or a pointer to the volatile environment string. Um, that is going to be the sub key that we're interested in. Um, then you've got, uh, let's see, you've got options, which we're not interested in. Then you're going to pass in the um, access rights that you're actually interested in, which is key underscore read. Um, that is a Windows kind of like predefined value, I believe. Can't, yeah, so this is what it resolves to 131097. Um, it's a U32 value. Um, and then we are going to um, throw in a pointer to our uninitialized, or I guess our initialized as zero H key handle. Um, and that is going to actually hold the open handle to that registry key, which we're going to use later. Um, so we're going to initialize an initial buffer size and we are going to throw in um, this uh, value right here, this U8 value right here, um, basically initializing this buffer size that we're eventually going to throw our um, username into. This line right here is going to print out the result of the open, um, basically just telling us exactly what, what happened. What we're looking for is a zero here, and that's going to tell us that we successfully opened that key. Um, and it's going to, we're going to print out the value of that H key, which, you know, isn't actually interesting. But if we were looking, if we were looking at this and saw anything kind of weird looking like a negative number or like a really long number, um, then we know something probably went wrong. Now, here's where we're actually going to grab that value. Um, so using reg get value A, we are going to pass in our open H key or our open key handle. Um, we're going to pass in null for our sub key because we're not actually interested in a sub key. Um, and we are going to pass in the pointer to our username um, value right here. So username is not a sub key, it is a value. A sub key would be like this one folder. It's represented as folders within the registry or within registry editor. Um, so we're not interested in a sub key, we're interested in a value. So we're going to pass in null for the um, sub key, and we're going to pass in a pointer to the value that we're interested in. Um, this right here is the type of registry key. You can see um, within reg edits that this is our, our type right here, reg underscore SZ, which I believe is just string. Um, we're going to pass in null for, let's see, can't remember exactly what that's supposed to be. And then we are going to pass in the address to our ret buffer or our um, buffer that we created up here to hold the actual value that we're interested in. Um, so, and this is going to be our buffer size. So our buffer size is 200. We're initially, we're eventually going to trim this down um, to only include the buffer size that we're interested in. And the way that we do this is again, the Windows API does everything stupid and it's going to basically run this function and store the actual size of the registry value that we ended up getting. So we pass in 200, it says no, it's not size 200, it's actually size, you know, whatever it ends up being, and we're basically going to trim our value down later on. Um, so this right here is the result of enum value, it should be a zero value, um, and here's where we trim it. So ret is actually equal to the um, buffer size that we got minus one because we've got a null byte at the very end. Um, so we're actually not interested in that null byte and we are going to return our value here. So again, from a very high level, we are going to open a handle to the key that we're interested in, um, which is the volatile environment key. Then we are going to actually enumerate that value right here, which with um, reg get value A by passing in that H key and passing in a pointer to the value that we're interested in or a string representing the value that we're interested in. Um, so again, I can run it again and cargo run results is MJW. Um, we could change this by instead saying home path. So if we were just interested in our home path, home path, I haven't tested this, so hopefully it works. And we get users slash MJW. 
again, um, you could basically run this exact same thing for just about any value within the registry, whatever you're interested in as a malware developer or a malware reverse engineer, and it's going to return the value that you're interested in. Um, so, like I said, um, this isn't anything super complex. Like I said, it, it took me 10 minutes to kind of explain this, and that was with a lot of repetition because I'm running on fumes and coffee at the moment at 1 a.m. Um, but all of this is going to build on top of each other as we're building our malware out. If you've been joining the streams, welcome back. Um, we're building out some malware in Rust, and this is one of the functions that we built out fairly early on to pull information out of the registry. Um, there's tons of different information within the registry. I highly recommend if you're running on a Windows system, you can open up RegEdit. I believe it's on all systems by default. If not, it's fairly easy to find on the internet. Um, and you can march through your registry and find what kind of information you can actually pull off of your system. Um, the registry is readable and writable. Um, though there are some access rights that you're going to have to deal with if you're writing to particularly like nasty registry keys. I, for example, I don't think you could just write to the username value within the registry. You might be able to, but I, I don't think you'd be able to without like administrative privileges. Um, so like I said, you know, simple stuff, very quick video. Um, and you know, it kind of demonstrates how the Windows API works. You can't do anything the way you would think you'd be able to do it. Um, you kind of have to do everything by reading and writing directly to memory, which Rust really doesn't like. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something from it. Take it easy. Peace.